worked so hard on him. He's your father. He loves you. I overreacted. I, I just don't like people checking up on me and watching me. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? I am very pleased to introduce your entertainer this evening, a very talented composer and singer, Mr. Bo Farrell. My friend, you've been a friend indeed, but I'm afraid I haven't been a friend at all. I confess I haven't told you all I feel inside Although there's really just one thing I have to say You're a star To me that's what you are Maybe others see you differently Maybe they don't see as far Cause like the sun you radiate Such love and so much light in the middle of the night, you're a star. My faith is somehow renewed by the way you smile even when you're feeling down. And when the world's Holden, been what do you plan heavy on, on my shoulder, maybe never. Come yeah, on, help me you can get it to make it. Just, I want to hear this. You're a star. To me, that's what you are. Maybe others see you differently. Maybe they don't see as far. It's like the sun you radiate. Such love and so much light. In the middle of the night. Shining so clear and so bright, you're a star. Wanna get closer? Wanna get closer? When you're closer, that's when closer comes. What a deep and a fresh smell. Up in paste, tartar control, and gel. Fresh homemade tarts. Cool. I want my cool whip. There isn't a fresh homemade strawberry tart that doesn't hunger for the fresh homemade taste of Cool Whip. Cool Whip. One fresh homemade taste deserves another. I love those long, hot summer days when all you can think about is a cool, delicious glass of crystal light. She just loves special effects. I believe in crystal lights. I love drinks. Cause I believe in me. Americans are eating healthier than ever, or so they think. Even healthy foods may not be as healthy cooked in oil, margarine, or butter. But all-natural pan no-stick cooking spray adds only one-tenth the fat and calories of those things and keeps food light and delicious. The choice is yours. These or all-natural pan, because how you cook is as important as what you cook. White Oval Solid. It works better than the leading solid. And this was Angus and Margaret's bedroom that they shared when they conceived their child. Uh, shared, that is, until Angus threw a fit of jealous rage and threw Margaret out, insisting that the child was a product of Margaret and Jeremy's affair. Yes, but we know that not to be true. Yes. Margaret told herself at the seance by answering no. And you asked her if she'd ever been unfaithful. 
Isn't it possible that Margaret's ghost was lying to us, just as Margaret herself lied to Angus? No. Why not? Because Margaret's spirit is restless and yearns to tell us something. It doesn't make sense that she'd wait for 200 years to communicate a lie. Well, then I wish to bloody hell she'd communicate whatever it is she has to communicate. My daughter is lying in a hospital bed suffering from abdominal pains because she's carrying a daughter. And that it will seal her doom when that daughter is brought into this world. Duncan, if you still believe there's a McKechnie curse, then we must make haste to break that curse before Beatrice delivers in May. What do you want me to do? Well, you could start by letting me back into the turret room. I know somewhere in there is a clue to unlocking this mystery. And how do you know that? Duncan, please. I know there's something that Margaret wants us to discover in there. But we must hurry. We must act quickly. Time is too precious to waste. Not only for Beatrice's sake, but for ours, too. Follow me to the turret oh, room. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Tommy, hi, darling. Hey, are you hungry? We've already eaten, but I would be very glad to eat something up for you. Uh, thank you. No, I grabbed a sandwich at the office. I just dropped by to pick up Leanne. Dad tells me that she's out. Oh, yeah. Well, Barbara and Hal invited her to join them at Mona Lisa. She knew you'd be working late, so she agreed to go. Well, it was nice of them to invite her, and I'm glad she went. I guess that means she's getting a little more comfortable around here. I think she is, yes. We sure love having her here. She's welcome anytime. Actually, she's telling me she's very excited about taking care of Christopher during the day now while Laura's at work. Really? Well, that's great. You know, I've been meaning to ask Laura if she'd tutor Leanne. You know, I drove her home just a little while ago. She's probably still unpacking. She moved out of your grandmother's apartment. Maybe I'll run over there and ask her. I asked her once here, but there were so many people around, she didn't have a chance to respond. You mind if I use the phone? No, go ahead. Right Thanks. Honey? Yeah. Do you think I should say something to him about Laura's feelings? I don't think so, no. Let's stay out of it, I think. Now, this is weird. I'm dialing Laura's number, and there's a recording that says her new number is unlisted. Do you know anything about that? Well, no. I had no idea. Mrs. Delaney, I so appreciate your taking my mail in for me while I was away. My pleasure. Well, I've got...